first time any of us heard the chord progression, Flea was showing us the chord progression that he had come up with. I'm like, oh, that's nice, and we were playing along. And then it started to sound a little bit like, uh, it reminded us of uh, Benny and the Jets. And then Anthony's vocal, when he came up with the vocal, sounded even still, again, like Benny and the Jets a little bit, and just a little bit, I don't know. So I, I think we thought that the best way around this unique problem was to call Elton and see if he would want to be a part of it. And he, luckily, he was, I mean, I think, I think we called him, you know, on a, on a weekend, and he was in there by Tuesday. He just happened to be in town. He's, he's really generous and sweet with, with his time, and he came in, and he just kind of hung out with us in the control room for half hour, talked about photography and touring, and then just went out and, you know, played four times all the way through, and that was it. And we, it was just very simple and easy. He didn't sing. No, he, he, he felt that the piano was enough. You know, like that, that was the thing. The song was pretty much done. But it, uh, you know, it, it it definitely had a lot of space for you know s an extra element, and and uh, he came in and he played piano and he thought, yeah, I think you know the vocals done doesn't need me. I like uh, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Uh, I like an album called Blue Moves. I think that came out in the '79. Yeah. One of my favorite songs is from the '80s, and it's that song. Uh, I guess that's why they call it the blues.